Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so now let's talk about uh, uh, learning robotics uh, for beginners, right? So, uh, so you have been self-teaching yourself since the beginning, uh, and of course, you you took a lot of courses at the university when you uh, did your uh, master's thesis and all, and you worked on on projects, and then you worked on uh, math works. But at the same time, there's a component of self-learning. Uh, involved right in in all of these stages and i'm sure you are also always self teaching yourself uh, because you are also putting educational content online so uh, what is the best way to start learning robotics and i think the next part would be uh, how do you continuously keep learning with robotics because uh, you have to catch up with the research that is yeah. uh, constantly you know uh, improving yeah. Oh, okay. There's a lot there. Um, I think the, you know, the, the first thing I, I could say about that is that we are now in a world where it's so easy to just passively absorb information. So I will like very outright warn people to not just like watch a bunch of YouTube videos and call it a day and say that you know something. Um, so no passive learning. However, YouTube videos do have their merit and this is how I use them. Mm-hmm. I I think that just watching, and by YouTube videos, I mean things like, you know, watching a lecture or watching, um, you know, like a like a lecture, uh, a guest presentation in a university. All of these things are available on YouTube now. It's great. Um, or like keynote speeches from conferences, that kind of stuff. I actually think it's a really good starting point in understanding the layout of the field, particularly for something like robotics, because there is just so much terminology, so much like jargon that, whenever I'm learning a new field, like for example, when I was teaching myself natural language processing, I just mm -hmm. watched a couple, I spent a week watching just videos on how people talk about it. Like what are all the terms that they use, um, like tokenization or or like, or like, even what are the papers that people are referencing, like, you know, transformer this, transformer that uh, nowadays. Um, so just basically watching videos just to see how people are talking about the problems, you know, what what the state of the art is focused on um, who are the key people in the field? I think it's a good starting point so that you become kind of conversational in that area. You don't yet know mm -hmm. how to do things, but you know the purpose of things. Um, and another example could be like if you're trying to teach yourself computer vision, maybe you'll watch a couple of videos to understand like what is image recognition versus classification uh, in versus object detection versus segmentation. Like You kind of know what they're for. You don't know any of the math or implementation. That's fine. Okay. But you now know the types of problems, the types of solutions that exist, and that's the starting point. Then you immediately want to move on to actually doing stuff. That, I don't know. <laughs> that, I can't think. I can't think of a a better yeah. way to a better alternative. But yeah, I think actually having hands-on uh, experience is the way to go, um, mm -hmm. and that can be difficult depending on how you're learning things, right? Um, you know, if if you're very self-motivated, then maybe you can just open up like download a software package and just start like typing stuff up or get out yeah. a pen and paper and start deriving things mm -hmm. those are all good things um and if you can learn that way then that's awesome uh but you know the best way to learn something is to have a project or a problem in mind um you know it's very different saying i'm going to teach myself tensorflow so i'm going to open up a tutorial yeah. and just like run it and like you know change a hyperparameter run it again be like oh that's cool you know learning rate helps Versus saying, I have a data set, I need to solve this problem, you know, I need to classify something. What do I do? Um, mm. You learn a lot because now you're not like just following along a carefully crafted tutorial. You're actually, you're actually just going to run into a lot of problems that you have to solve along the way. Like, yeah. oh, maybe this network architecture doesn't work for me. Um, you know, maybe TensorFlow was not the right tool because, you know, whatever reason, maybe I have to do something else. Um, yeah so so again yeah. this is pointing to like uh uh switching from a tools focus to a, a projects project focus actually so with the tool you too you could learn everything about tensorflow and maybe use let's say five percent of it in a project or something and yeah. you so but you said that you it's a good idea to have a general 
overview to get to know the terminology that is used in the uh, in a, the field let's say computer vision or nlp or whatever yeah. uh, and then immediately start working on the project right so right. yeah and then you learn things along the way yeah yeah because yeah, that so is the thing right with the the uh, there's so much information uh, available online and it it's like yeah you could watch an hour of a youtube video and you could say i i learned about that say humanoid robotics or whatever yeah yes yeah, so i would warn people from credential chasing in that aspect you know i i was guilty of this at some point in my life too where i would just sign up for all these online courses and be like oh i got a certificate from this course because i answered yeah. four multiple choice quizzes versus <laughs> versus you know i actually did a project and here's my github profile hmm. very different things um one thing that really really bothers me seeing on linkedin is when people post a certificate that they watched a webinar that, that oh, like hurts my soul is that the thing it hurts my soul so much so <laughs> so please please don't do that uh you know do do things um you know learn things write about them write write some code play around with it solve a problem and it, the learning will just come